the M300D acoustic leak detector, tracer gas detector, and plastic pipe locator. Hydrogen sensor, The pump is operated by pressing this button on the top of the knob. The pump pulls air into the cup past the sensor. This rod connects here. Because this sensor is near the beginning, the response time is very quick about five to seven seconds. This is the wind protected ground mic. The coil cord connects to the handle. This adapter converts the ground mic to irregular surfaces by attaching to the bottom of the ground mic with the magnets. The headphones plug into the jack on the left side of the M300D. The batteries are installed by removing this cover on the right side of the M300D. Four C-cell batteries are inserted with the positive end first. Attach the microphone by attaching to this connector. Each adjustment can be made with your finger or a stylus. To adjust the volume, select the lower left corner and press down. To adjust the background noise filters, select the bottom center box. The filter range that's being adjusted is highlighted in orange. This box is highlighted when the lower filter range is selected. To select the upper range, select this box. A typical frequency range for the filters is about 150 to 800 hertz. The frequency range for your filters will vary depending on your application. Metal pipes will transmit a higher frequency than plastic pipes. This is the main menu for the M300D. This icon is to go to the acoustic measurement screen. This is for long-term acoustic measurements. This is for gas measurements for tracer gas. This is where the files are accessed. This one goes to settings. And this is for transferring files. And this is the help icon. This is the smart mode. You can tell that by looking at each bar. To take a measurement, you can push the microphone button. Or the red button on the left. Each time a measurement is taken, the current reading moves to the history and each time another reading is taken, it moves across the screen showing the progress. This icon in the lower right corner adjusts the scale. The scale should be adjusted so that you always have a reading, but it doesn't go above 99 so that you can see the changes. The large number here and the bar on the left indicate the volume level for each listening point. The bar on the right indicates how much the leak being heard matches a normal leak. This icon allows you to switch between background noise filters. This is the custom filter. This is the filter for listening through surfaces. And this is the filter for listening directly on the pipe. When setting the background noise filters, it helps to listen to the effect of the changes. The headphones or the sounds can be toggled on and off with this button. It's indicated by the X in the headphones at the top of the background noise filter screen.
This is the plastic pipe locating mode. It will show you the maximum at each listening point and indicated by this icon. This is the smart mode. You can see that by this icon and there's two bar graphs for each listening point. The gas sensor and pump are connected at this connector on the right side. Enter the tracer gas detection mode by selecting this icon. When the tracer gas mode begins, it will warm up. As the warm up progresses, this green bar will progress across until it's all green. Exposing the sensor to high concentrations of hydrogen can cause excessive temperatures and damage the sensor. The current readings between 0 and 999 will be displayed here. Each time this button is pressed, the current reading will be moved to the history and then we will start again here showing a history as you move along. This icon sets the alarm level. This icon resets the hydrogen level to zero. Please be sure that you're not near any hydrogen sources when resetting. This icon turns the alarm in the headphones on and off. This icon turns the sound from the controller on and off of the alarm. This icon returns to the main menu. Before you do that, be sure you want to because you'll have to warm up again when you return. A typical hydrogen reading when you're not near the leak is less than 10. It's common for the hydrogen levels to be over 100 when near a leak. It's generally quite obvious. The tracer gas used with the M300D is 95% nitrogen and 5% hydrogen. Using tracer gas allows you to find leaks in noisy areas, smaller leaks, and deeper leaks than can sometimes be found using acoustic methods. This icon returns to the main screen. To turn off the M300D, press and hold the left knob 